Alrighty, so this video is going to show you how to get a flyback transformer out of an old TV. A uh, really old TV in this case. So, take the back off, which I've already done, and then you're going to tip it like this so the screen is facing down. Once you've done that, you're going to see a red wire with a suction cup on the end, which I have already removed. You remove it by pulling up this back piece, and there will be, you'll see the inside of these two wires. And those two wires, uh, you're going to pinch together and it should pop out. It took me a little bit to get mine out. And then this red wire leads to this box. And it's surrounded by a bunch of capacitors and stuff. And uh, this box, once you tip it on the side, you can see kind of the pattern. It kind of resembles the box. Uh, so you're just going to desolder those and take it off. Alright, so I've begun soldering as you can see, and uh, these things are really kind of tricky to get off because the plastic is like directly underneath it. <coughs> you don't want to melt the plastic in the transformer. Alright, so once you get your transistor, I mean, sorry, I'm working on transistors right now, but once you get your transformer, flyback transformer out, sure it looks something like this. Uh, some of them are different, like, they'll have knobs right here in an exposed coil, because that's the primary and secondary coil. Uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, suction cup, and there's only going to be, so you see, there's all these little things that we soldered out, remember? Uh, there's only three of them that we actually need. Uh, I'm not sure where they are. You have to have a voltage meter to test that once you get power into it. But uh, There's a positive, a negative, and a ground in here. Uh, actually, no, there's not. There's only a negative and a ground, and then, like, something else. Uh, this is the positive. Both of those are positive wires. Um... Yeah, and right now I'm working on making like an arcing reactor. So, uh, you got the heat sink from like an old computer. So this is what it should look like when I'm all done with this stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to be the most complicated thing I've ever built, but uh, I'll try and keep you guys posted on that. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool.